This video is a short explanation of the SolarRoofs.com connections to the top of four port solar tanks and a standard two port tank. Shown is the four port tank that has an inlet and outlet for the hot and cold water as well as the solar feed and return. On the left will be the tempering valve with its hot on the bottom, its cold on the top, and the mix at the end. It has a crossover to, for the cold water to be fed into the cold side from the cold water on the right and it, as you can see you have a return from the collectors and a feed to the collectors with a pump. Each one has a hose bib and the return for the collectors has a check valve to prevent reverse thermal siphoning. It's a floating ball check valve with zero resistance. Shown here are the connections to a standard two port water heater. On the right is the cold in, on the left is the hot out. On the right, you can see the cold coming into the tank and it goes through a dip tube to the very, very bottom of the tank. There's a pump that'll pull the water out of the tank and push it, circulating it through the collector and back down through the left side. The left side actually has a dip tube that goes about two feet into the tank. So the returning solar heated water goes into a level below the electric element. You can see there's a tempering valve and that comes out to the left and is fed by the hottest water coming out of the solar tank and then it is mixed with a line coming over the top into the top of the tempering valve and mixed going out. Both sides have hose bibs and ball valves. The ball valves you can use to isolate the system. When you are actually charging the system, you want to make sure you purge all the air out of the system by closing the ball valve on the right and opening the hose bib on the left and letting all the air out. 